everyone, it's Krista May. Good morning. What day is it? Isn't it funny how we keep losing track of days? Um, I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> okay, happy Wednesday, hump day. So I'm here in the studio again. I'm about to do a practice for you. I wanted to share with you a conversation I had earlier with a friend of mine, and she was really distraught about what's going on in her personal life, financially and um, emotionally and Spiritually, she was really down in the dumps, which is understandable, by the way. She said, you know, Crystal, I just have to really, you know, I want to be hopeful. I want to think the best, but I need to, like, be realistic, too. And I was like, well, be realistic about this. Anything is possible. Yes, we're going to have loss and struggle. That's part of life. But we're also going to have joy and bliss. And even if we're forced to change our careers, where we live, how we live, we have the opportunity to do that from two perspectives. And one is from fear and all of its derivatives, which is anxiety and loss and despair and you know, sadness. And the other is from, from love and all of its derivatives, from kindness and compassion and tolerance faith. So when you say be realistic, what I'd like you to be realistic about is that we've been through pandemics before as a species and we didn't have the technology, we didn't have the great um, computers, we didn't have the great brains and minds that we have on the planet right now. And we also are sophisticated enough to recognize that we can take personal responsibility for our life and this pandemic, this can actually be an opportunity to be innovative, to create new business opportunities, to reinvent yourself in the business world. You've got this time to learn a new skill. Um, more importantly, take inventory of what's going on inside of you. You have the time right now, like what a great gift is this? And so I think sometimes when we get quiet, we'd like to project that, well, I'm very upset about what's happening in the world, but what's really happening is that you're getting to quiet down, slow down enough to feel your own emotions that have probably been there for a long time. And you haven't had the opportunity to sit with them. And when you sit with them, it can be a little uncomfortable. And, and this is kind of a heavy conversation, but I really think it's important to say, it's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to see the reality of life exactly as it is, but that means that you truly have to see it as it is, not as you see it through a cloudy filter. But did you notice today the sun came up? I'm wearing yellow in honor of that. The sun came up today and it came up for you. The sky is blue. The grass is still growing, um, even if we've lost a lot of our other uh, material things. And you still have the opportunity on this planet, while you're here, to do some good. So my gift to you today is to open up the possibilities. Yes, be realistic, but be realistic in a, in a way that makes you enlivened and doesn't suck your life force. That no matter what, I mean, we've talked about this before, we will all leave the planet, but while we're here, it's your choice how you live your life. It's your choice how you choose to be. On my very, very, very last breath, I hope that the words that I'm uttering is love. Love, yes, love. Love is the answer. It is the reason. It makes all things possible, even the impossible. So don't give up hope. Reinvent yourself. Do some inner work and take advantage of this time that you may never have again just to be in stillness. And remember that I love you very much. And I hope to see you soon. Time for me to get on my yoga mat and sweat a little bit. I hope you'll join me. I love you. Bye.